Good morning, it's 3 October. I'm here at my uh, riding buddy's house, Dennis. Dennis, AKA Dennis the Menace's house. Uh, he's riding out with me today, my birthday ride. Uh, bringing the uh, Indian FTR out today. I know I, I was anxious and sure a lot of folks are uh, kind of wondering what the uh, Indian FTR S and the uh, Harley Davidson Sportster S look like together and uh, how they match up. They probably match up pretty close, uh, but uh, it's neither here nor there. Um, if you're into stats and uh, seeing uh, which bike's better, then uh, find a riding buddy with uh, with uh, the opposite bike of what you got and uh, go head to head. So me and Dennis just going to ride out and have some fun today. Uh, him on his brand new Sportster S and me on this. My, I guess still pretty new uh, FTR S that I got one July. So I'm waiting on him. He's uh, downloading some class uh, class two. Downloading a squad of Marines. So uh, there's Dennis's bikes. He's got a pretty nice collection going. He just put a big fat 260 on his uh, night rod. His 2014 V-Rod. <clears throat> what I was not aware of is uh, it's actually not a 1203 in this bike. It's actually a 1250 Revolution. Not the Max, but the uh, one that preceded it. So that's his 2014 night rod. Then there's uh, the small big boy of the group. His... Uh, Sportster S. Take this out today. Ride it with my uh, FTRS. And uh, he's got also a Buell just like I do. He's got the Lightning. I got the uh, I got the Buell Firebolt. Those two are fun to ride as well. So I'm waiting. I guess them squad of Marines are uh, fighting hard uh, not to be downloaded. So uh, he's uh, he's building a nice little collection. I'm glad that he did not trade in any of his bikes for uh, the Sportster. He's like me; he keeps what he's got. There's his project. I think it's uh, I forget what year he said it was. An eighty-something uh, Mustang GT it was my dream car when I was in high school. So. Uh, I'll be back on uh, filming. I'll do a GoPro. Be loading this up to YouTube tonight or tomorrow. And uh, of our ride today, I'm not sure where we're going. I'm going to go. We're going to go down south a little bit. Say hello to my wife and uh, thank her for my uh, birthday gift. She got me a pair of uh, riding pants that go over normal pants. I've been wanting for a long time. So she knows my size. They fit perfect. Uh, with that, until I uh, get my GoPro going on the ride, Espinosa out. Well, I'm back uh, for a short uh, intro here to the... Uh, right there we got uh, Harley Davidson's answer to Indian. The uh, Sportster S, 2021 Sportster S with the 20, 1250 Revolution Max-T engine. And uh, Indian's My 22 uh, FTRS with a 1203. Uh, engine that I believe that Indian uh, did work on from the uh, Scout engine. I think this one is the base engine for this one is what's in the Scout. I could be wrong. Uh, but anyway, there's uh, there's the two bikes from the two motor companies. A rivalry renewed. Harley Davidson and Indian. I'm just happy to be alive and uh, that I live long enough and I'm young and healthy enough to ride and enjoy bikes from the two motor companies. And I'll get back on as soon as we get on the road.
right, so uh, that's the end of our uh, riding day. We got, I don't know, 150, 180 miles, I don't know, somewhere around there. Uh, from Santa Fe all the way up to Cal to the high road. And I think, for me anyway, Harley Davidson, uh, the uh, Sportster S, answered a uh, question I had about the handling when I first saw the commercial for the bike. When Harley released uh, their ad on YouTube a few months ago, was how it would handle with that big front, fat front tire. And uh, I'll tell you that Harley Davidson, that Sportster, uh, for those of you wondering, that Sportster more they can handle it. And uh, today wasn't just a demo ride. Uh, I'm right here with my riding buddy Dennis. What's up? Uh, he's riding it as the owner. Never even demoed it, but he's actually riding it as the owner. Put a he's already put a few hundred miles on it. Just about got done with a break in, and uh, the sport he handles pretty outstanding from what I could see uh, as I was following him uh, on the highway. Uh, for me, it was a blast uh, looking at that Harley Davidson in front of me. The bike just looks mean. I can only imagine what he looks like from the front coming down the road. But it looks like a daggone bulldog. Or uh, the schoolyard bully, actually. Mine looks a little more athletic, like a track star. This one looks like a brawler. I think, I don't know if that's the look Harley Davidson was looking for. But to me, that's what he looks like, a bulldog or a or the uh, school ground brawler. Very muscular looking bike. Uh, I think they're both great looking bikes. I think both motor companies are doing the exact right thing. Uh, my opinion is I think uh, Harley Davidson was a, a little flat footed by uh, Indian and what Indian was producing, especially when the Scout first came out and then with the FTRS a couple years ago. And Harley Davidson answered back with uh, this awesome, beautiful machine, the uh, 2021 Harley Davidson Sportster S. So uh, it was a blast today. It was my birthday, so uh, thank Dennis for uh, riding with me. That was a great birthday gift for me to get on the highway and put some miles down. And uh, we were blessed with the great weather, outstanding weather. It was in the 60s, low 70s the whole day. And... Uh, the one thing that we did check, I asked Dennis uh, on the fill-up how he was doing, uh, how many gallons he put in. So he's doing, from what, the way we rode today, you know, 70, 85 miles an hour. And then, uh, you know, 55, 65 on the twisties, depending on, on how curvy the road was. We didn't ride gentle, but we didn't ride like we were trying to win a track race. He was averaging about 51, 52 miles to the gallon, and I was averaging 46 on my Indian, which is about what I've been noticing since I've had the bike since July. So Harley-Davidson uh, Sporty, and following the tradition of uh, the old Sportsters, is real stingy with the gas usage. Because on my uh, 1993 and my 2001 Sportster, they're uh, very fuel efficient. And uh, that tradition continues with this new powerful badass sportster and uh hoping i can work on this tonight get it out tonight if not i'll get it out tomorrow but uh, i want to thank dennis for riding with me today and uh in case uh i know i don't have that many viewers but in case uh, anybody didn't catch it he is actually the first harley davidson sportster s owner in the state of New Mexico. He got it right off the truck as it came in uh, a couple of days ago at Santa Fe Harley Davidson. And uh, so he was, I don't know if anybody else has bought one since, but uh, he is the first owner in the state of New Mexico of a Sportster S. And uh, the bike lives up to all the hype from what I can see and from the smile on Dennis's face. So with that, uh, from uh, Northern New Mexico, um, the two motor companies here, Harley Davidson and uh, Indian, uh, Espinoza signing off, Espinoza out.